Welcome to Proofpoint's How-To Video Tutorial Series, which is aimed at sharing Proofpoint's professional services, best practices, for configuring the Proofpoint Protection Server's features and functionalities. This video tutorial demonstrates how an administrator can create a recipient verification audit using the Proofpoint Protection Server, or PPS. Recipient verification confirms the existence of a recipient address before processing the message through the PPS filtering engines. The recipient verification feature allows you more control over the resources you use for message filtering. If email messages are addressed to invalid recipients, PPS can simply discard these messages and continue filtering the messages for the valid recipients. If a message is addressed to multiple recipients, the message is filtered and delivered to the valid recipients. Recipients that are not valid are removed from the message. Recipient verification relies on having all SMTP addresses in the user repository. If an SMTP address is missing and the recipient verification is set to silently discard or reject, then there is no way to have the email delivered to the user without asking the original sender to resend the message. The audit mode, also known as the quarantine continue method, is established to quarantine a message and give the administrator a period of time to verify that all SMTP addresses are in the repository prior to discarding or rejecting. To create a recipient verification audit, select the Email Protection tab on your PPS appliance and then access the Email Firewall module, Recipient Verification, and the General page. Within the General page, enable the verification by selecting the On Radio button. Next, select the checkbox named Restrict Processing to selected policy routes. Choose the default inbound policy route from the available box. Click the double arrows to move the policy to the Require Any Of box. You will want to leave the Disable Processing for Selected Policy Routes as the default, which includes both internal net and outbound policy routes. Next, click the Create New Folder button and name it Recipient Verification. Select the Add Entry button to save the folder. Select the checkbox for Copy Message to Folder and verify that the new folder just created is selected. Next, select the radio button to continue processing. Finally, leave the verification failure set at the default of Retry and then select the Save Changes button. Select the Profile page and make sure that the default Profile ID checkbox is enabled. Next, click on the Profile row to edit. Select the Verify Recipients for Specific Domains radio button and enter all inbound domains. Leave the Data Connector set to User Repository and then select the Save Changes button. Next, select the Rules page and then click on the Verified Rule. Make sure that the rule setting is on or enabled. Select the checkbox next to Copy Message to Folder and make sure the Recipient Verification folder is selected. Click the Radio button for Continue Processing and then select the Save Changes button at the top of the page. To view what messages may be quarantined, select the Systems tab and then choose the Quarantine Module, Folders page. Check that the messages under the Recipient Verification folder are only for invalid recipients. If messages are found for valid users, then adjust the user import to include the missing SMTP addresses. Once it is determined that no valid messages are being quarantined by the recipient verification audit, this feature can be changed to silently discard or reject. Thank you for watching our brief how to video tutorial on how an administrator can create a recipient verification audit in the PPS appliance. For additional information on our products, visit our knowledge base at https 
colon forward slash forward slash kb.proofpoint.com. For questions, comments, or feedback on this tutorial, please email us at training at proofpoint.com.